guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at minimum obstacle removal to reach corner problem which is from lead code number 2290 a prerequisite before solving this is to watch my video on dijkstra algorithm if you already know this then you can consider watching a very similar problem which is find minimum time to reach last room one and two problem which is from lead code number 3341 and 3342 i have already made videos on both these algorithms as well as dijkstra algorithm so uh, you can find all these links in the description below i hope now you know dijkstra algorithm so let's proceed with the problem statement in this case you are given a zero index 2d integer array grid of size m by n each cell has two values zero represents an empty cell and one represents an obstacle that may be removed you can move up right down and left from any of the empty cells and we need to return the minimum number of obstacles to remove so you can move from the upper left corner that means from 0 0 index to the bottom right corner which is your m minus 1 and minus 1th index so we can say that you will be starting with the source node on the top left and your destination node will always be on the bottom right corner okay now let's look at some constraints in this case uh, your m is the number of rows n is the number of columns and they both will be less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 and even the total number of cells are less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 each of the cell values will be 0 for empty and 1 for uh, occupied that means it will have an obstacle and uh, you see that the first that, that means the top left corner and the bottom right corner will always be 0 that means they will never have an obstacle now let's see an example for better understanding in this case we are given a grid of m rows and n columns and uh, this is what uh, we have represented a 3 by 3 matrix in this case 0 means uh, it is empty and 1 means it has an obstacle our goal is to reach from the 0 0 index to the m minus 1 n minus 1th index that means the bottom right with minimum cost or you can say with minimum number of removals of the obstacles right so one removal of the obstacle can be assumed to have one cost because all the obstacles are identical therefore i can reframe this problem to say that find the minimum cost path from the index 0 0 to index 2 2 okay from the top left to the bottom right where the top left is the source and the bottom right is the destination so in this type of problems if you want to find out the shortest path if you are thinking about using dfs then i would not recommend you to do so because even if the dfs finds the most optimal path but you are not absolutely sure if this is the most optimal path or is there any other path which is even more optimal because there could have been zeros here and then this path will become even more optimal right so in dfs you will have to try finding all possible path from the source to destination and then only after comparison you will be absolutely sure which one is giving you the answer so this is a non optimal approach now if you are thinking about going with the bfs technique then a simple bfs technique may not be a way to go for you because most people are familiar with bfs as level order traversal and so if you keep counting levels one hop after another then level is not the cost here in this problem it does not mean what is the distance between the uh, top left and bottom right you can think like this is an optimal distance but then you can also form something like a snake and still reach to this node the distance is not the actual cost the actual cost is about removing the obstacles right so if you are applying simple bfs thinking about counting the number of hops or the number of levels then this will not be used if you modify it somehow then you can use bfs but in our case we will keep things simple and we will think like whenever the cell is empty it will incur zero cost and whenever the cell is having an obstacle then it will incur one cost so since we have two different cost therefore we will use a priority queue which will be a heap in combination with your bfs so that you can greedily always pick the best possible option in the next hop right so if you apply the greedy technique on your bfs by taking a priority queue heap then you will be able to solve this problem optimally and this algorithm using bfs with the heap is called your dijkstra algorithm in this case the cost will be 1 because you can go from 0 0 and follow this path where you just had to remove one obstacle and hence the answer in this case will be equals to 1 so i hope the problem statement is clear with the ideas now let's apply dijkstra algorithm simply on this uh, given input and we will find the result
Let's take an example of a 3 by 3 matrix and we will try to find out the minimum cost path from the source 00, 0 to the destination 22. Now in this case I will be making all the four directional calls in the order of up, right, down, left. Okay. Now whenever I process a node I don't want to reprocess it again for that reason I will be taking a visited array of the same size of the grid and initialize all the values with a value false that means none of them are visited initially. Now if you think carefully uh, we want to apply a greedy algorithm in this case so that we always choose the optimal path right in the next hop and for that reason since I want to minimize the cost I will be taking the min heap. Why min heap? Because a min heap will always keep the minimum cost item right on the top of the heap which you can always see in order of one time and you can remove it in log n time right. So the heap structure will be containing the cost as well as the xy coordinate. Now if I just tell you that 2 is the cost without telling you at what coordinate this cost actually occurred. So you cannot make out by just seeing the cost which coordinate it was. But if I tell you that cost is 2 and the coordinate is 0, 2 then if you see this node you will understand that in order to reach to this node 0, 2 I incurred a cost of 2 and so you uh, you can start traversing from this point in all the four directions right. So that is why we will be storing cost with the xy coordinate to know the location of it too. Now before beginning I have to push the start node here so the start node will be having cost 0 because the problem already mentions that the top left node and the bottom right node will always be 0 so the cost will be 0 with the coordinate 0 comma 0. This will be pushed into the min heap and then we have to mark this as true that means it is visited. Now I will run a loop until I reach to the last index that means the bottom right index and first thing I do is I will remove the current node that means the top of the heap. Now the cost here the current cost is equals to 0 and the xy coordinates are 0 comma 0. So from here I will try to make four directional calls. I will be able to make a call if something is not out of bound and it should not be visited. So you see that I cannot make an up call because this will go out of bounds. Can I make a right call? You have to check in the visited array. It is not visited so I can make this call. Now you see that there is an obstacle at 0 1. So that means it will increase our current cost by 1 because I have to remove this obstacle right. So the current cost is already 0 and if you add a 1 to it then the total cost will become 1. And what is the coordinate? It is coordinate 0 comma 1. So we will be pushing this into the heap. And also since this node has been processed you will be marking it true so that nobody else can traverse this node now. Fine. Now I will try to uh, go down and uh, you see that it is not visited again. So the cost here is 0, the current cost was 0, so total cost will be 0 and the coordinate is 1 comma 0. So this 0 1 0 will be pushed into the min heap and uh, the visited value at coordinate 1 0 will be marked as true. We cannot make a left call because this is out of bounds. Okay. So we are done processing this 0 0. Now I will try to take the next best option. What is the next best option? If you see the top of the min heap will be taken out so we are uh, sorting the heap based on cost so 0 1 0 will be taken out and my current cost still remains to be 0. When this is taken out I will try to make all the four directional calls. Can I make a call up? No because this is already visited. Can I make a right call? Yes because this is not visited. So in this case the cost is 1 here because there is an obstacle. Current cost is 0 so 0 plus 1 becomes 1 and the coordinate is 1 comma 1. So this will be pushed into the min heap and you will mark this as true that means it is now visited. If you want to go down you check it is not visited so you can go down. The cost is current cost 0 plus this 1 which will make it 1 and the coordinate is 2 comma 0. So mark this as true as well. Now can I make a call to the left? No it will be out of bounds so I cannot make that call right. And we are done processing this 1 comma 0. Next time the next best option will be taken out. And any of them can be taken out because all of these are having the same values. But let's uh, say that I will be sorting it based on the x coordinate if the cost are same. And if x is also same then I will be sorting it based on y. So I will be taking out this 101. Okay when this 101 comes out then you are at this coordinate 01 with a cost equals to 1 now. Current cost. From here can you make a call up? No it is out of bound. Can you make a right call? Yes because this is unvisited. So the current cost is 1, there is an obstacle at 0, 2, so this will increase the cost by 1. 
so the total cost becomes 2 and the coordinate is 0, 2 this will be pushed into the min heap and we have to mark this as true that means uh, it is now visited can i make a call down no because this is already visited can you make a call to the left no because this is already visited so you are done processing this 0 1 now the next best option will be taken out let's say 1 1 1 triple 1 so your current cost will be 1 and you are at this coordinate 1 comma 1 from here i'll try to make a call up you cannot make it because it is visited can i make a call to the right yes because this is unvisited so mark this as visited and this uh, is saying that it is zero cost that means there is no obstacle the current cost is one so one plus zero becomes one and the coordinate is one comma two which will be added okay now can i make a call down you see that it is false so that means you can make a call down current cost one there is an obstacle here so one cost will be added so the total cost become two the coordinate is two comma one so this will be pushed as well and you have to mark here true can you make a call to the left no because this is already visited right so you are done processing this one comma one now let's go to the next item so uh, the next item to be picked out will be one one two because these two one values are same so i said that if first value is same it will be sorted based on the second value you can just maintain that this is actually the default behavior in a heap if you don't mention explicit custom comparator so since this one is lower this will be taken out at coordinate one comma two and uh, you have a cost equals to one okay from here i will try to make four directional call can i make a call up you will see that i cannot make it can i make a call right no it is out of bound can i make a call to the downside yes you can make it and uh, since th this is false right so you have to make this as true and uh, you have to add this cost one with the cost zero so this becomes cost one and you have reached to two comma two at this point you can stop and say that uh, one is the cost or you can delay the operation until this item is popped out again okay so i will delay this operation let's say so one two two is pushed in and uh, after this i'll be trying to make a left call which i cannot make because it is already visited now the next option is taken out and one two zero will be taken out because if you compare it with one two two then one two are same but the last item zero is smaller so one two zero will be taken out so i'll go to two zero and from here i'll try to make all the four directional call you cannot make a call up because this is true cannot make a call to the right this is true cannot make down call and left call because these are out of bounds so we are done next best option taken out is one two two in this case when you take out one two two this two two is actually the target node that we wanted to reach two two so once we reach the target node for the first time since we are following the greedy algorithm and greedily deciding on the best possible path at any point of time therefore the cost associated cost for reaching this 2 2 for the first time will always be the minimum cost and that is why the answer in this case will be equals to 1 so this is the uh, technique of solving the entire problem by using bfs and uh, priority queue min heap which is known as the dijkstra algorithm now if you consider the time complexity of this you have a total number of cells mn and all the items can be present into the heap and each of the heap push and pop operation is log of size of heap so log of mn for that therefore the time complexity is mn log mn and the space complexity is mn uh, because we have taken a visited array here right so i hope this entire approach is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code i am taking the node structure by taking a pair integer pair where the first item is cost and then you have the xy coordinate now uh, we are given the grid i'll find the number of rows and columns and i will take the direction array which will help me make all the four directional calls urdl up right down left okay now i'll take the visited array of size mn and i'll be marking all of them as false initially that means none of the cells are visited i'll be taking a min heap okay and after this definition i'll be pushing the top left which is the start point the start point will always have cost zero and the coordinate zero comma zero so all three zeros are pushed into the top of the min heap and then we will be marking uh, that top node to be visited after that i will be going in a loop 
for the entire min heap until it becomes empty or I reach to the m minus 1 and minus 1th index. So I'll take out the top of the heap and I will extract the x coordinate, y coordinate and the cost. If the x and y coordinate are our target coordinates after extraction, then we know that we have reached to the target node and therefore I'll be returning the cost as the minimum cost, right? If it is not true, then I'll be making all the four directional calls from the given x comma y coordinate. If I make a call up, I'll be going to x minus one comma y coordinate. If I make a call to the right, I'll be going to x comma y plus oneth coordinate and so on, right? You can just calculate it. So you can e you can also take a direction array and just run a loop four times in order to calculate all the four directions. For every direction, we have to check if we are going out of bounds or not going out of bound. If we are not going out of bound, we have to check if that node is already visited. If we are not going out of bound and if it is not visited as well, then I will be marking that uh, cell as visited and I will be uh, checking if we have an obstacle at a node or we do not have that obstacle. If we have an obstacle, the cost will increase by one. Otherwise, the cost will remain the same and we will push that node into the min heap. And after this entire processing, we will always get to the cost because the problem always gets to the answer. If it is not possible, then we will return a zero. So this is the entire solution and I hope you were able to understand it. If please find all the related algorithm and problem link in the description below which you can practice after this problem. I hope this video was helpful. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.